Imagine a world where children are not vaccinated against potentially fatal diseases for which vaccines are made available. What do you think would happen if we stopped vaccinating children in Yemen? If our children are not vaccinated, Yemen's already dire humanitarian situation could worsen. Polio will cripple more children than it already has, leaving 265 children crippled between 2020 to 2022. Measles will kill more children and parents will suffer pain caused by avoidable deaths as it has caused 514 associated deaths since the beginning of 2023. UNICEF and World Health Organization warn that despite the availability of safe and cost-effective vaccination, measles remains one of the major causes of death among young children worldwide. Around 9 out of 10 unvaccinated children in Yemen who come into contact with a measles-infected child could become infected if we stop vaccinating them. Currently, measles is affecting children less than 10 years old in Yemen and more impact on children less than 5. Staying unvaccinated would increase the number of children admitted for measles. Currently standing at over 42,000 would put the whole young population under 10 at risk and would increase the under 5 mortality rate above the current 61.9 per 1,000 live birth. That might result in thousands of sick and dying children in a country where nearly half the population is under 18. Blindness, severe diarrhea and dehydration ear infections and pneumonia are only some of the potentially fatal complications associated with measles. Even with optimal treatment, one to three of every thousand measles-infected children will die. The fragile health system in Yemen is suboptimal to limit the number of deaths to one to three. Rather, we would experience an unimaginable number of deaths. And measles isn't the only contagious disease we must watch out for. Another disease with potentially catastrophic results is polio. Every child in Yemen would be at risk of polio if we stop vaccinating them. For every child paralyzed by polio, another 199 children are going around infected and passing the viruses through their stool. In Yemen, 262 children have been paralyzed since 2020 by polio. Simply means we have 52,138 children who have been shedding the virus to other children and now we have uncountable numbers of children around who quickly need to be vaccinated. Polio cannot be cured, but it can be easily prevented by vaccine. Without it, as many as 10% of persons affected by the disease may die due to paralysis of the muscles that support respiratory. Vaccines are one of the most efficient, effective, and safe measures for preventing potentially fatal infections in young infants. They are responsible for preventing millions of deaths annually and have practically eliminated polio and smallpox. In Yemen, vaccines contributed to avert 293,465 child deaths between 2000 and 2021 in Yemen the country can achieve an additional 74,480 deaths averted through a strong immunization program between 2022 and 2025. Not only do vaccinations protect the recipient, they also prevent the disease and illness from spreading to others. If we stop vaccinating kids in Yemen, what would happen? With less newborn and kids growing to reach adulthood and more adults dying of other causes including natural death, Yemen will in long term experience a stale or declining population growth, which will affect quality of life and productivity. There's a chance we'll wipe out a whole generation. Let's make it so every kid can get immunized and has a shot at a long, healthy life.